Welcome to the demonstration of the NetSuite connector for Shopify. In this video, we'll explain how to connect your Shopify store to NetSuite and manage orders and refunds. We're going to start here on an order confirmation page of a Shopify site. As you can see, a shopper just placed an order and is now ready for import into NetSuite. Let's head now over to the Shopify admin page where we can see the relevant customer and order information, such as name, address, item purchased, and pricing. This standard order information is pre-configured to import into NetSuite. However, we can also use Shopify's API to bring in additional data, like the notes field. Although this information is not imported into NetSuite by default, I can configure it in the mapping section of the NetSuite connector. Now let's head to the NetSuite connector interface, which is the hub between NetSuite and Shopify. The process of importing orders is typically automated, but for the purposes of this demo, I'll use the built-in connector tools to import the data. Navigating to the Shopify order screen, I'll click on Shopify, Data Flows, and Orders. I'll import the order by clicking Retrieve and entering in the Shopify order number. Now that our order is in the NetSuite connector, the data from Shopify is available to be imported into NetSuite to create our sales order. I can click on the pencil and then edit to see our Shopify order number, our billing information, shipping, and item information. I'll go back and click Show Order Mapping for a more in-depth view of what data will filter into which fields within NetSuite. Then I'll click Post Order to NetSuite to import the order information. Once we see order posted waiting for shipment, the order has been successfully created in NetSuite. Now let's head into NetSuite to view and fulfill our order. I can find the sales order by typing the Shopify order number in the global search bar. Once I click, I'm brought to the sales order where I can see the same customer, item, and pricing, and shipping information. When I navigate to related records, I also see that a customer deposit was created to track the credit card payment right from the beginning. This is one of the options that can be configured during setup. Now I'm ready to fulfill the sales order. Usually at this point, I would use our logistics connector to automate shipment processing and create item fulfillments in NetSuite. But for this demonstration, I'll walk through it manually. I'll, I'll start by clicking Fulfill at the top of the screen. And then on the Packages tab, I'll enter our tracking number. This is the tracking number that will pass through the connector on its way to the order in Shopify. I'll click Save and head back to, to the connector to push the data through. On the order, I'll hover over the pencil and click Upload Shipment from NetSuite. Just like the order sync, this will happen automatically in a live NetSuite environment. Once our order status is complete, the tracking number has been successfully pushed to Shopify, and we can head over there to view it. Once I refresh the screen, I see the Shopify order is in fulfilled status, with the tracking number we entered into NetSuite. At this point, our order is complete in both NetSuite and Shopify. Let's go through one more scenario to see how I would handle a customer refund. I'll click Refund, enter in the quantity, and the shipping amount. And then click the Refund button. Heading back to the connector, I'll import the refund and create the credit memo. Navigating to other transactions in the NetSuite connector, I'll click retrieve 
and type in the Shopify order number. A success message indicates the refund is ready to be imported into NetSuite. I'll hover over the pencil and click Post to create a credit memo. For this demonstration, I'm syncing refunds from Shopify to NetSuite. However, we do have the reverse option of syncing refunds from NetSuite to Shopify. Heading back to NetSuite one last time where we can view our credit memo. I'll type in the Shopify order number in the global search and see our credit memo. This completes the refund sync process through the NetSuite connector. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.